A lot of people love salt, whether it's sprinkled on their dinner plate or dumped into their processed food. But many of us eat too much salt, and that carries health risks, especially as we hit those milestone ages of 30, 40, and 50. Senior medical correspondent Judy Fortin explains. Whether we shake it or pour it, Americans are using too much salt. According to health experts, we consume 50% more sodium than we should. And doctors say all that salt can cause major health problems. What happens is that in our 30s, 40s, and 50s, our level of activity goes down. Although sodium plays an important role in regulating body fluids and blood pressure, most of us consume way more salt than our bodies need. The American Heart Association recommends that most Americans limit sodium intake to no more than 2,400 milligrams or 6 grams a day. That's just a little over a teaspoon. Obviously, when, when you're 30, you may grab foods which are easy to make, and those that are more processed usually end up having more sodium in it. So you have to really think about what you're giving your body. So watch processed foods like lunch meats and frozen dinners. Salt is something that masks flavor, but it also makes it feel like there's a lot of taste in your mouth. It's a very inexpensive way to give something flavor. In pregnant women, edema or water retention is common, but don't cut out the salt. Dropping sodium during pregnancy can cause problems for mom and her fetus by disrupting the body's fluid balance. Edema that occurs during pregnancy is usually not harmful unless the mother has high blood pressure. In the first three months of pregnancy, it's very important to be healthy and eating healthy. As we start to worry more about blood pressure, salt becomes even a bigger factor. Clinical trials have shown reducing salt in our diets decreases blood pressure in people with and without high blood pressure. And that lowers the risk of developing hypertension and heart disease. We know that salt makes cells uh, assume more water, assume more weight, assume more of a difficult situation for the body to work well. Best thing to do, watch your labels and count your salt milligrams. For those with high blood pressure, some doctors say lowering sodium intake to 1,800 milligrams would probably be healthier. But if you're diabetic, watch salt restrictions. Small studies have suggested that type 2 diabetics can actually see their glucose levels rise if they don't consume enough salt. That's why it's important to talk with your health professional. Judy Fortin, CNN, Atlanta.